In this video, I will show you how to insert audio and video effects into the mixing window. We will start with inserting audio effects. However, inserting video effects works exactly the same way. Here I have a mix already open, containing multiple audio loops. If you'd like to add an effect to a file in your mix, right click in the area where you'd like to place your effect, and from the drop down menu, select audio effects. When you highlight audio effects in the menu, all the effects available will be listed. Here we will select an effect from one of our new built-in effects from Blue Cat Audio. I will select Triple EQ Stereo. An effects grid will appear in the grid. To bring up the properties of the effect, click on the Effect Properties icon in the bottom left hand corner of the effects grid. The properties window for that effect will open. One of the cool new features we've added is the ability to manipulate the effects properties while hearing the output. You're also able to access the mixing screen while the properties window is open. To give you an example, I'll quickly set up a loop region so the audio in the mix will only play in this area. I'll also solo the track so only the audio will play within this track. Remember to click on the loop play button. I'll now click play in the mix. Now we can adjust and manipulate the properties while also hearing the effect in real time as I change it. I can also adjust the envelope and the length of the grid, which I'll discuss in a moment. When happy with your changes, click apply and then OK. This effect can be adjusted in length and moved and copied to other areas within the mixing window. To adjust the length of the effect, simply move your mouse to the start or end point of the effects grid until the adjust length indicator appears and drag the effect as you wish. You'll notice when you adjust the length of the effect, it will snap to the start and or end of the segment. If you have another segment above or below the channel, an indicator will also appear and snap to the start and or end of the segment. This is a very helpful option when lining up your effects. To turn this feature off, Click on the segment snapping icon in the mixing window toolbar to disable. To move the effect, click on it to highlight it, and with your mouse, click and hold and move it to the location of your choice. To copy the effect, click on it to highlight it, right click, and then select Copy Effect. Right click in the area where you wish to paste it, and select Paste. Within the effects grid, you'll notice an envelope. With this envelope, you can adjust the level at which the effect will be introduced. You'll also notice a point on the envelope. This is called a node. If you hold the mouse cursor over the node, it'll give you a readout of the effect level at that point. By double clicking on the envelope, you can introduce new nodes. You can also adjust the level of the effect by moving these nodes around. You can also change the shape of the envelope by right clicking on the envelope line and choosing from the options available. Here I will select very slow. You may notice when you adjust the length of the effects grid, the envelope and the node adjust with it. This is because the sticky nodes option for envelopes is turned on. To turn this option off, simply click on the sticky nodes icon in the mixing window toolbar. Now when I adjust the length of the effect, the envelope does not stick to the grid. To delete a node, right click on the node and select delete node. You can also reset the envelope so it has no nodes, or hide the envelope altogether. One of the new features we've introduced into TrackX Pro is the ability to expand or minimize the effect so that you can easily access the segment behind and also insert multiple effects into the same area within the mixing window. So let's insert a second effect into the same area. Here I'll select Blue Cat Stereo Flanger. 
simply click on the Expand Minimize button within the effects grid. Again, I can adjust the length, nodes, shape and properties of the effect. I can also minimize the effect so that I can easily access both effects and the segment behind. When the effect is minimized, it can be moved to different areas on the same track. You can also have the properties for both effects open at the same time. Adding effects in the same area track works in a priority system. This system allows your effects to be organized quickly and efficiently and allows up to five effects in the same area. This priority system means that an effect with priority one takes precedence over the other effects. For example, the triple EQ effect is in priority one, meaning it is in the first position on the track. If I move it down the track and place it at the bottom, it has taken the priority 5 position. I can move the effect to different priority positions either with my mouse or right clicking on the effect and in the effects priority menu selecting a priority position between 1 and 5. In this case the EQ is applied first to the segment and the flanger is applied to the output resulting from the application of the EQ. Word of note, if you select or move an effect to priority position already filled it will sit on top of the effect already positioned there. You can also mute an effect by right clicking on it and selecting mute effect from the drop down menu. If you wish to delete the effect, simply highlight the effect and press delete on your keyboard or right click on it and select delete effect. If you wish to move a segment with effects placed on top of it, Use the Auto Selection tool to highlight them and while holding down the left mouse button, move to the desired location. If you would like the effects to always move with the segment, you can highlight the segment and the effects using the Auto Selection tool again and then right click and select Add to Group from the drop down menu. Here I'll select Group 1. Now when I move this segment, the effects will always move with it. To learn more about grouping and the auto selection tool, please see their corresponding video. So now I'll move on and insert a video effect. This works the same as audio effects. To insert video effect, right click on the segment and select from the video effect menu. Here I'll add zoom. Again, you can adjust the length, the envelope, Access and alter the properties in real time. Minimize and expand. And add multiple effects to the same area using the priority system. <laughs> 